Roughly a month into the NFL season, there's a general outlook or a general idea of who's going to be contenders and who's going to be, well, pretenders, kind of like my Vikings. Discussion for another day. But in the AFC, it is clear or it is becoming clear that the Buffalo Bills are, if not the top team in the AFC, they're close. They're close. Currently sitting at 3-1 and one at top the AFC East. Uh, with a point differential, by the way, of 134 to 44. In other words, they are smashing teams. Okay, yeah, that's absolutely right. They are absolutely getting done uh, on all phases of uh, really this entire season. And really, I think it's been kind of one of those things where if you look at them, their entire roster, you know that this team can take the, the entire NFL and NFC by storm. Um, and even though they, they lost to the Steelers in week one, uh, I, I think that honestly that was that was a little flukish uh, because I think that they are a better team than the Steelers. I think they're the most talented team in the entire AFC, to be honest with you, most complete team. I think um, this, there's some questions I have about the Chiefs. Uh, the, the Chargers and, and the Raiders are good teams, but we'll have to see how the rest of the season pans out because that, that's a tough division that they're in. Uh, but like in terms of being the most put together team, I believe that's the Buffalo Bills. Now you got Josh Allen, who is um, leading the team right now, uh, uh, going 99 for 156, uh, roughly completing 63% of his passes for 1,055 yards, nine touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, you also got Devin Singletary running the ball very well for this team at this time. 49 carries, 259 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Zach Moss and uh, uh, Josh Allen are second and third respectively with 147 yards and 129 yards um, and uh, you know obviously Stefan Diggs I mean he's you know as a Vikings fan I just wish the man nothing but the best and he's having a great start to the season so far 26 catches 305 yards and a touchdown also Cole Beasley 25 for 210 uh, and no touchdowns yet Emmanuel Sanders 16 for 268 and two touchdowns Dawson Knox of course of course the, 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 the time I let him go in fantasy this man catches two touchdown passes you gotta be kidding me it is what it is I'm, I'm dealing with it. I'm slowly dealing with it. But that's not even the best thing. And, and to me, I think, you know, when you are when you look at the Bills that have, by the way, pitched back-to-back, -back, uh, or, well, not back-to-back, -back, but uh, nearly back-to-back -back shutouts against good teams, and then also basically shut down the Washington football team, even though they're a really good team right now. Um, you know, nearly back-to-back -back, uh, shutouts for the Buffalo Bills. It's obviously clearly uh, an area that they, they pride themselves in, and they are very clearly a very, very good defensive team now. Uh, you got Star Ludolini right now, who's got a couple of sacks on the year. Micah Hyde, uh, who has a, who's leading the team with a couple of interceptions. But uh, right now, it is a Tremaine Edmonds who's leading the team with 21 tackles. Matt Milano, uh, who uh, who has 19. Now Micah Hyde, uh, Teron Johnson, Tredavious White, all those guys. Greg Rousseau, who's got a couple sacks. Man, they're they're getting production from their younger their. Uh, from their uh, draft picks already, which is something I can't really say of the Vikings, but you know they are definitely uh, having a lot of success on the uh, defensive side of the football, and I think that's really what's helped them so far. Um, and I'm really excited for them because I think they're going to be able to do, continue to do a lot of a lot of great things for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, you know, I, I honestly think that as we go through the season, yes, you know, there's going to be things that change. There's going to be things that you know uh, that dip and ebb and weigh and whatever, however, you, however you say it. But overall. I don't think it's far-fetched to say that the it's clear that the Buffalo Bills are the most talented team in the AFC. And you know what? I'm just going to put it. I'm just going to say it. They are coming for the entire AFC. That's how talented this team is. I think they can go up with the Chiefs confidently. Um, of course, with, uh, it's the NFL any given Sunday. But just on paper, I believe that this is the most talented team in the entire NFL. Uh, defensively, they're, if they don't pitch a shutout, they're going to be pretty close, uh, it, it, even if they go against the solid team. Now, you know, context is everything. Now, you, you pitch shutouts against uh, the, the the Dolphins, who I believe had uh, Tua, who was injured at the time, and against the Texans, who are probably going to be in the race for the number one overall pick in next year's draft. But, and I understand that context is everything, but still, and anytime you can hold an NFL team to no points, no points, that's something to write home about, especially twice already uh, out of three weeks uh, through a couple of NFL seasons. Now, they go to play the, uh, the Chiefs, excuse me, um, and I think that's going to be a great game. That is clearly going to be a top game. Uh, and I, if it's not game of the week, it should be. I, I'm not sure at this point. But uh, they play 620. Um, and, you know, I think it's going to be one of those th those games that people remember for a long time because, or, or say that shaped their season because these are two teams, uh, you know, two and two are, are the Chiefs that are trying to get back their season on track. And then also you got the Bills at three and one uh, who are just coming off three convincing wins. Uh, and so uh, I, I think that this is going to be a great test for both teams. And I think it's going to help shape out a lot of things um, for the entire a for the entire AFC but I again I do think that the Bills are coming for the AFC and they're going to make some noise this year I think
think they're going to be a, a top team and very tough to beat. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, subscribe down below, leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. I greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Check out our website at thesportsbriefpodcast.com. In the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms, so please give us a like and a follow there. Uh, give us a listen and a sub on iTunes. We'd greatly appreciate it. And finally, if you have anything you would like us to cover, make sure you send us that or what it is to, uh, to the sport us at the sports com, or you can put it in the comment section down below and we'd be glad to cover it but let us know what you guys think about the buffalo bills coming for the afc